let me uh, let me talk. I want to talk about this before I forget it. And you know, I could write it down. And um, and make a video about it, but I want to talk about it now. It's something that I know that I don't see that anybody's aware of it because I have never heard anyone talking about it. So it's something that I see, you know, and I want to I want to share it. And it's this thing with communism, okay? And I was born in Cuba. I know what communism is, okay? It's, it's like the biggest crap there is. But there's another problem here with communism and with any other system that people do not see. And communism, like anything else, is something that one government uses to distract the people from not from not seeing how bad their own government is because the government is always going to be pointing their finger at some other problem so people don't look at their at the problem that they're having and you know, I mean, you know this happens with everything. There's always a scapegoat. There's always, there's always pointing the finger like you see in the news, in politics. Either if it's not Biden, it's Trump. Always talking about something. I remember back years ago, uh, and I, don't, I, don't, I just don't watch his, watch his videos anymore. Uh, Glenn Beck, right? Uh, let me get in camera here. Glenn Beck, uh, I remember when he used to talk about the, the Muslims, Islam, right? He talked about the Muslims and it was like, it was the end of the world. The, it was the end of the world. And whenever some something new like that came up if 9-11 or whatever is to deviate you from looking at your own like government and that word that that phrase like my government has is a two-edged word it, it means two different things it depends how you see it because it's like saying my car, like does, does my car, or saying that my car is like my ruler, like, you know, it's two, two different ways to look at it. And this happens, this happens especially with religion. Right now, if you start thinking about it, this happens with religion. Religion is always looking and pointing to something else, to some evil things that they say, the devil here, this, that. So that nobody's looking at, the, at their, own, like their own thing. Like all the churches are waiting for the rapture. All the churches have the truth. And they are always pointing at something else except themselves. And this thing with communism is the same thing. And I have I have fallen I have fallen in the past I also fell for the same for the same thing for the same trap. Um, you know but the only reason the only reason that that we or the people have to fear communism or any other system whatever other system is like maybe islam with their you know with their religion the only uh, like when with the sharia law and all the stuff that was happening back i don't know 10 years ago or whatever 
the only reason and the only fear of communism is not because of communism. It's because of the government. It's because of because you have a government. If the people acted like the government, like the government, communism will never be a problem because you will know where you stand. Right? You, you will know where you stand. You don't have any system that is going to tell you or give you some philosophy, some political philosophy, for either from the left or from the right or from the center or from whenever. The people will, will be the way it's supposed to be. The people will be the government. So the government, the government that you have, which is a dictator, an oppressor, right? They are the ones that want you to focus on communism as something bad so that you don't see the bad in, in your own government. If, if we didn't have this thing, if we didn't have uh, government, communism, you know, you, you want to be a communist, go ahead and be a communist. You want to do uh, communist propaganda, do all the communist propaganda you do, but the people will not accept it because the people, the people will not accept any form of government. If you don't accept any form of government, you have nothing to worry about. You are a true free capitalist, free market. Uh, you, you will have a free market mindset right if the people do not accept something nobody can force them uh, to do it only through through uh, programming and selling you something that systems get inside get inside a you know, a nation or, or a group of people. The Constitution, right? The Constitution. And, you know, I've been, I've been telling people, you know, the, the Constitution is, is, is worth less than toilet paper. And I know that people it's like when someone is in a religion and you tell them something and they're like, what are you saying? But it is, it is. The Constitution is a paper to enslave you. It was a paper written to enslave you. And I'm going to give, I had, I had the idea today, I'm going to give you one example, one example only, that the Constitution is an illegal document. It is not a legal document because it's not a legal contract. It was not signed by anyone. It was only signed by the people who wrote it. Now imagine that, that I write a contract and I sign it and I tell you, you have to obey, you have to follow the rules of this contract, but you didn't sign it. That is exactly the same position with the Constitution. And let's take, let's take slavery, for example. Do you think that black people, that black people agree, did, did they agree and they sign, yeah, we want to be slaves? Back then, there was a law that slavery was legal. And all the bad things that happened to black people or to any slaves in any nation that has happened, did they sign the contract? Did they sign the constitution saying, yes, I agree to be your slave? I agree to this law? No, they didn't. So the law is illegal. You know, people accept it without knowing it, but politicians write laws and they say, this is the law? No, this is not the law. This is your law. This is not my law. I didn't sign it. But people have given the, given the government this authority over them. 
And every day, every year, politicians get away writing bills, signing bills against you, taxing you more, putting more regulations, but you didn't sign this contract and supposedly, supposedly politicians work for you. If you have a company, if you have a company, does your employee tell you what the rules are? If you have a company, does your employee take your money away from you and say, here, this is how much you going to pay me? Or do you pay your employee however much you want? It doesn't make any sense. Government, governments, any government, any form of government makes no sense in capitalism. In, in a free market, it makes zero sense. The, even the way the politicians are elected by votes, have you ever done a job by somebody voting for you? No, it's ridiculous. So why would you run a system that is contrary to the way all businesses are run? It makes no sense. So if there was no government, we don't have to fear communism or we don't have to fear Islam or any religion or any government because we will not, we will not accept any governments, any form of government. We don't need any government. We don't, we don't need anyone to tell us how to make a law or how to make a bridge or how to make a road or anything like that. It's just, it is just one system taking you and looking at something else to distract you so that you don't look at how bad your, the, the system you have is. And that's what it is. That's what it is. There's nothing else. So that's, that's how I see communism now. Just another government, just another government. And I don't want any governments. No, thank you. I don't want you. I don't want your business. I don't want you. Whatever you do, I don't want it. And I don't have to accept it. But people have been programmed to accept it. Like if somebody's doing you a favor, nobody's doing you any favor. It is your money. It's your money when you go buy when you go to the store to buy an air condition or something you pay with your money nobody nobody takes your money and say oh here take this air conditioner no you pay for the air conditioner you want so the the problem here is not some external external system the problem the problem is your system the problem here is the system here this, that's the problem, not some other, uh, not some liberal. The same thing we have the problem with, you know, it's the liberals or the Republicans or the independent. It's all the same. They are, they are all the same because, first of all, they all agree to taxes. And taxing is illegal. It's theft. It is theft. If I take your money without your consent, it's theft. There is no logical, any other justification for, for doing it. So don't be afraid of the communist. Be afraid of the government and not be afraid of it. Just tell the government, no, I don't want your business. I don't want your services. I don't want it. because they automatically take over and they make the rules so you, you have no you know you're just a, a renter you're just a renter all right that's i wanted to make the point about about communism that you know it's not the communist the problem is not the communist the problem is the government any government any form of government is a serious problem Okay.